What's up y'all? My name is Mike and welcome to the channel. Today we're reviewing the Kettle Mountain Shenanigan Pant by a newer company named Kettle Mountain. This is a lifestyle pant. So it's a little bit stretchy. It looks a little bit more formal than a riding pant. And my favorite thing about it is it doesn't swoosh. I'm at Golden Bike Park right now riding some dirt jumps. I'm gonna bike on it and I've been wearing it around the house for the last few days. And I'll give you my thoughts on does it pull off being a lifestyle pant? The feature list from Kettle Mountain goes kind of like this. They have their anti-swoosh fabric. So unlike most hiking outdoors mountain biking pants, these won't make a racket when you're just walking through the house. The other thing they have is this big zipper phone pocket. I actually like to ride with my phone in a padded case. Uh, you can probably put two and two together why I do that now. And the whole padded case fits in this pocket. And like a good outdoor pant should, it kind of puts it on the back of the leg so that your pedaling or your hiking or your whatever motion is less inhibited. Um, it also has a big pocket here on the right and a big pocket here on the left. And then it's got a littler pocket for change. And then in the back, we got two, I got my biking gloves on, so I'm not gonna use them, but we got two zipper pockets. And then we have like some little ringlets to put keys or carabiners or whatever on. Um, the other cool feature is it's got a built-in belt, so it's a J-hook belt, which is nice. And then it's got one more thing to put keys or a carabiner on right there. Um, I'm 5'8", 180 pounds, and I got a large, which is a 33 to a 35 uh, waist. They unfortunately don't sell these in a 30 inch inseam, so you'll see that I actually have them cuffed here because they don't look too bad, but they are quite long uh, if you don't cuff them on me. I would like to see them make it for people with a 30 inch inseam. I think like 5'8", 5'9", is the average height in America. So you'd think they'd make an inseam for the average height in America. One last thing to call out is that they do have some minor branding here. So they have a little orange Kettle Mountain logo. Um, not a huge fan of this because they say, you know, they're supposed to be, you can use them semi-formally or you can use them outdoors. And I don't really like the orange logo there. Uh, no, that's not to say it looks bad. I think it looks kind of cool actually, but uh, it's noticeable if you like tried to wear these on a date or something. Yeah, so since I have the J-hook belt too, I wouldn't really recommend tucking these in. You'd look like a goober. So I've been wearing these pants over the last few days just around the house to the store. And then this is my first time biking. So let's get to biking in them and see how they feel. So now that we got some laps in, let me give you my thoughts on these as a mountain biking and just lifestyle pant. Um, personally, I really like them. I think my favorite thing about them is the anti-swoosh technology. Uh, it makes it feel a little softer and like less cold on your skin, kind of more like a sweat pant. And then I just don't like <laughs> when you're walking around a quiet room and your pants are swooshing a bunch. Those don't feel like pants you can wear formally. And I see ads a lot for like these kind of lifestyle-y pants and they're all super swooshy. So Kettle Mountain did a great job by doing that. Um, I also like this big old zipper pocket on the right hand side. It's very well implemented and it puts the weight in the right spot. I do wish there was one on the left side though, uh, just for symmetry, but oh well, I'll get over it. Other things I like about it are the J-hook. I like that they're a pant that you can kind of loosen up when you want if you just want to wear them casually. Uh, they come with like a rubber seam on the inside as well to stop them from slipping and they have a semi-elastic waistband due to the material. So you don't have to wear the belt. But when I'm riding, I like to cinch the belt down just to keep everything snug. In terms of like outdoor active cooling performance, uh, a lot of biking specific pants will have like little vents at the back of your knee or vents on the inside of your thigh and you don't get that with these. That being said, these are more of a lifestyle pant, right? You can bike in them, you can wear them to work. And I think they do a great job with that. The cooling is okay. 
you'll definitely sweat more than you would wearing shorts, but it's not like a major amount. Uh, I think they cool, do a pretty good job of cooling. I'm like semi sweaty right now after riding for like 40 minutes. Yeah, so my biggest gripe with the pants is that they don't have the 30 inch inseam and I'm a 30 inch inseam. So Kettle Mountain, you should make these in a smaller inseam. That being said, I really like the way they look. I really like the way they feel and I love the anti-swoosh technology. So honestly, I'll probably be buying another pair. Yeah, so in terms of being a lifestyle pant though, I, I think these are perfectly executed and I would give it a wood buy. If you yourself are interested in getting these pants, uh, check out the link in the description. I'll have a link to this pant on the Kettle Mountain website. Peace.